Okay. So equipment. What do we got? I've got 146. I don't know. I think the th the faster ones might still be slightly worth it. Uh, ugh. no, nothing there. Thrusters. No, we already looked at that. So the grappling hook. We could do extra range. I got to be rank 15 for maximum strength. It's tempting. And for the laser cutter, I don't know. I'm thinking mostly we save up for demo charges and we work on being relatively elemental proof. There, because this way hopefully I won't get shocked and killed. And if I can get that up to 75%, I'm going to be in a good spot. I'll save the rest, at least for the next time. And I think we've, we've maxed up my... Oxygen. No, we have not. Oh, it's 80. 81 for the next one. Ouch. All right, whatever. Starting shift. Hey, thank you, Ari is Ari, for the Prime Sub. Prime Sub is finally available. Happy to use it here. Love your chill streams. Oh, thank you. Welcome on in. I guess you've been here, but... Still. Ah, uh, let's see. Zealous Mercury. Heavy cargo, 46. 51, if I want to do another one of these freaking chonkers. I do like the freaky, freaking chonkers, though. Uh, let's see. 27. The only one... Uh, the only thing I'll say is I get less links token and MP for these shorter ships. But... I might be able to do them faster. Eh. Eh. Go big. Oh, right. We needed utility arms. That was the other thing I was maybe thinking of. Oh, but you can see this one does not have pistons. So it doesn't matter. This one also doesn't have pistons. Whereas these do. Well, I could do just this mackerel. Sure. Let's do that. I'm just going to determine things based on the ship at the moment. Instead of just picking the biggest, highest value targets. I don't think I've actually ripped one of these apart before. Kind of pretty. Is there a way I can actually just get rid of this? No. Nope. Well, it's a shame. That's okay. All right. So first and foremost, no oxygen. Rad. All right. I guess let's just start ripping some bits off. Come here, you. We. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Did I get both of them? I think I did. They're just going to kind of wongle around down there for a while. Okay, next up, let's pop this cage off. So if I can get that off, we can potentially separate out the sides pretty quickly. All right. Send that off. I don't think that's going to really hook too hard. Oh, that actually did knock the ship around a bit. That's eh, fine. Okay. Pop this off. This goes to the barge. Who needs airlocks? I make my own holes. Okay, pop that one off. You might want to get some cut range at some point, but eh. All right, let's start popping the base off. Probably actually going to be one of the quickest and easiest ships. I'll cut across the board. Namely, just due to the lack. Oh, piston right off the bat. And some snacks. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just kind of pop these off. Except for the computer terminal. Got to make sure I don't don't with that one. There we go. Bat, burp, bat, bat. Perfect. Okay, and because I'm a lazy man, I'm pretty much just going to tether all of these away. Sure, I can take my uh take my time. Oh, there's a hard crate on one of those. Ouch. Oh well. This thing. Oh, that's the soft crate. Kind of fun watching them like zoop around in there with full force movement. Asteroid shard. Oh well, that would explain what happened. Oh god, that's heavy. Uh, that would explain what happened to this ship though. I really do wish that there was battle damage on some of them. I think that would be such a cool kind of effect. Oh, we have a multi-tool. I don't think you can do anything with it though. Okay, and yeah, let's get the reactor out of here so I can actually see what I'm doing. We There we go. Okay. Have any of them ever had guns? No. Interestingly enough, there are there have been like no military grade ships. I mean, they might be military grade, but no military armaments or anything like that. I guess it kind of makes sense. Oops. Before I set myself on fire. Light is very flashy. Oh, well, now it ain't. Oh, yeah, all the lights are actually incredibly flashy. But yeah, no combat ships, or at least the weapons were popped off the combat ships before they were ever sent my way. Which is fine, but I still feel like, uh, I, I still feel like this game really could have used so many more ship designs and so much more, like, content. And I'm 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 not disappointed with the lack of variety that I've experienced so far, but I I feel like they could have taken it so much farther and it would have been so much better. Like if they just said, "Okay, game is functionally done. Now we're just going to do uh now we're just going to do uh DLC packs. You know, three or four ships every couple of months with more But alas, I don't know how much they're going to do. Their their final like uh, Q and A sounded pretty conclusive that they're not going to bother with mod support. Uh, maybe mod support just isn't super viable, and they're not going to bother with uh, too much post-launch support. I think I will be very happy to be wrong when I'm inevitably proven wrong. But in the meantime, I don't know. A co-op dismantling space war space warships from other sci-fi games would have been or could be rad. I would love that. You know, just reach out to a bunch of these companies and have them, um, you know, either license a couple or see if any would go for goodwill. And eh, maybe not. I think within the video game space, you could do it. You know. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I bet you could at the very least reach out to like Bungie and be like, Hey, can we like do a partnership where we just throw in a bunch of, uh, you know, classic, uh, destiny ship designs and have players like rip those apart. Uh, they said it'd be very difficult to implement a shipbuilder. Because the tools they used are leased or something. That sucks. I get it, but it sucks. Uh, really kind of reinforces that whole, but maybe, maybe if they did a sequel, that would solve so many problems. 
Because I, I think, once again, they did not expect this to be the uh, success that it was. Or at least, you know, to garner as much immediate popularity as it did at the time. And, you know, by the time that happens and all of the potential for custom ships or, you know, in increasing the dock size or some other things, uh, it was just kind of too late. And there's not much they could do about it. It's a common enough story where it's just like, well, we're kind of in trouble. I, scrap mechanic is the one that I can think of the most where uh, game comes out, gets hella popular and then they decide to spend like five years making um survival multiplayer which was a terrible mistake in my opinion but you know they just were not ready for it across the board and to some degree I don't think they paid the consequence so much as that the Whatever game that they're making, so in the case, Scrap Mechanic, or even Hard Space Shipbreaker to a lesser degree, uh, there will always be a feeling of like, but it could have been much, much better. But yeah, if they make a sequel, and I really hope they do, uh, then I think, I think they should try and have multiplayer and mod support as like number one features right from the get-go. People ask for survival and they went headfirst into it without first making the game functional. Yup. That's what killed the scrap mechanic for me is realizing that the mod makers were the only people that were actually going to support the game. Uh, post launch. And that, you know, otherwise. Scrap Mechanic was functionally done when it came out, which was not good because it was not done. Oh shit, there was a fuel tank here? What? Did I just miss that? Uh... Looks like it's fine though. That's a big chunk. Her processor doesn't want to take it. Yeah, that could have been that could have been a little bit worse. Anyway. We got a dampener. Whatever a dampener is for. Take a look at the rest of this. I think it's pretty good. So why don't we take this out? I don't know. Alright, let's go get some more. Keep trying to play scrap mechanic, but it performs so badly it, it's very easy to cause cause it to lag. Not really making much optimization progress now because they stretched their development so thin. Did everything they added. Yup. Oh, I might as well grab oxygen while I'm here. I know. Very classic example of like biting off way more than they could chew. Much to the game's detriment. And like sometimes it's almost better to say like, okay. We just can't do that. We'll make a sequel. And the sequel will have survival. Okay. So is this all good? I think so. And instead of even trying to remove all the bits from that, it's frankly just better to chuck it in the barge. Well, that worked out. All right. Either a sequel or like a spin-off, you know, finish the base game and then kind of release, I, I don't know. And so, I, I hope that's what happens with this game. I hope that's what happens with, I'm trying to think of other games where I want more, but it might just be better to get a sequel. I don't know. Let's see. Can I just remove? Yeah, it looks like it. 
It doesn't want to remove, but I can. I want to get this out of here. Let's see. Toss this off. And since there's no fuel left in this line, we can just separate this out. And then I think we can just send all of this off. This is a speed run ship. Though I gotta I gotta actually get the the thrusters out. I wish I could almost like selectively tell the game to never yell at me for uh wasting lights. You know, just be like, I just don't care. I can't care. You will never make me care. I gotta give credit where credit is due. Mackerels are just like the simplest thing. Huh. Very, very little finesse. Very little fuss. Very easy to shred into bits. Who shreds, you say? Alright. There we go. What else do we have in here? Atmosphere processor. Applying credit to account. All right, let's go back in here. Fix this. That's nice and quick. I don't. I don't know if I'd go fast enough that I could do this in one. Oh yeah, you can see the timer. Was it always was it 15 minutes or was it 20? Object not accepted. Please revisit your training. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I threw the nacelle in the barge again. Or in the processor again instead of the barge. Whatever. It's fine. That is an expensive mistake to make. The problem is this is too simple, and I'm just kind of I'm um, just kind of coasting. Okay. I'll get some fuel here. A barge processor. I don't know. I should probably stop soon. Getting kind of close to dinner, and that that way I can actually get my my brain back in order. I think it can handle about X number of hours of this game before I start uh, cooking just a smidge. It's fun though. I really do enjoy just like chilling out and playing this for a couple hours. But I don't I don't even remember how many ships I've done today. I think this is my fifth or my sixth. I think it's my fifth. It actually is, you know. Yes, that is what I wanted to do. I'm lightly on reflex at this point because I I'm, I've ripped so many of these ships. That I'm not quite processing what I'm doing. There we go. Anything else here? No. So this whole thing goes into the processor. And this whole thing goes into the furnace. Assuming it, you know, works properly. Do I toss another just in case it starts heading for the furnace? Yeah, because if it if it like whiplashes around, I'm gonna be a, a sad camper. Oh. Okay. I think I'm fine. But that could have been gnarly. Alright, we're good. 
I almost threw myself in the processor trying to take a look and see if there's another antenna. What am I? Oh, I'm missing that. Wow, that's actually worth a lot more than I thought. Unless I'm missing something else, but it, it could actually just be that whole dang thing. I guess for smaller ships like this, where everything is worth less. This is more of an issue. I don't think I can remove anything from it, though. It's fine. Okay, so let's go back up. Oh, yeah, and we did we did rank up. Look at the next one. Maybe a little bit more plot. Oh, I guess I cut it a little bit closer than I, than I thought, but it's fine. New certification level. Yeah, I still managed five, which is... More or less what I needed. But yeah, let's have that be my last ship and we'll, we'll switch games, maybe? Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Oops. Don't go bed. There we go. Hey, Rook. How's life? I don't know why, but I've been feeling a bit lonely lately. Lonelier than usual, even, which is saying something for this kind of work. Creeps up on me sometimes. Gets me thinking about this girl I knew back on the airs platforms. Bumped into her while climbing around scrapyards. Red hair. Like, hot metal. Wicked smart, that one. Cute, too. We ate falafel at a street vendor, then got ice cream. Her lips were cold and sweet when we kissed. I was too shy to go home with her. <laughs> she had fire in her. She left for a job out on the frontier. Other side of Jupiter. I'm not mad at her. I would have done the same thing. Where I'm from, you can't really pass up those opportunities. Wonder if she ever thinks about me. Hope she's happy. Hell, she sure shouldn't have any regrets. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to daydreaming and leave you be. Woo out. Cutter 9346-52. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Okay, so we now have radiation. What? Modern spacecraft are outfitted with valuable radiation filters to absorb cosmic radiation. Filters can be found in containment units throughout the ship. So we have to carefully re remove their access panels. Cut the frame holding the filter. Maneuver the filter to the barge. Huh. And also do not do not have any of it in, interact with fire. And now we have access to the gecko. Damn. Okay, fine, one more ship. Rise this one's going to be a doozy. 52. Let's have a chat. How? We agreed. We wouldn't change anyone's workload without talking. Did we? Oh, I think you might have suggested it at one point. But here's the thing. I'm looking at the reports, and this crew just still isn't quite hitting the targets. What are the targets? Well, they're higher than this. So, we need to bump everyone up a level again. Wait. We just did that. We just raised them. Look, this team is good. You need to give good salvage to a good team. And for you, 52, that means you'll be moving on to... Let's see here. <sighs> Radiation. That's right. Nothing major. You're getting lots of it out there in space already. 
Let's go, team. Cutter, radiation filters are no joke. Try your damnedest not to hit them hard, or they'll kick up a cloud of radiated particulate. Nasty stuff. Reacts badly to fire. I'll be here if you need me. Weaver out. Oh boy. Okay, equipment. Have some tokens. Take a look at the work suit. I'm gonna grab. Let's grab the fire resistance. And let's grab the next level of oxygen. That gives me even longer. Should be good. Okay. Every time Wander tries to escape this game, he gets pulled right back in. It's true. Time to deal some radiation, though. Did I get the pistons? I did. I did. I did. I did. Okay. Fix the ship. Okay, so we have circuits, dampeners, and rods, which are found in industrial hoists. Still a fair way from getting this one done. And don't care. Alright, so where, oh where, is our gecko? But do we not have a gecko? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Like, I could go into this thing... It's worth a lot, but I want a gecko. Can I like reload? No. Okay, here's the answer. If you save and quit, you can reset all of the uh, you can reset all of the available ships. And since we saved because we we're in the hab, it's not so bad. I just I want the gecko. Oh. Okay, here we go. I am... I'm gibbering. I know I'm gibbering. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not right. the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If there it is. If you what you do, you will be successful. Interestingly enough, this one's actually... Holy smokes. So this one might not actually have radiation. Uh, it does have cryo though, but... Nine stages. Oh, we're going to be at this one for a while. Let's see if we have... No, that's a mackerel. Uh, station hopper mackerel. Well. I mean, it's got all the pieces I'm looking for, I guess. So, gecko it is. 33 million. Let's do it. This is going to take a while. These things are huge. I think there's a couple of classes of geckos that are a little larger than this one, but... Oh, there was a gecko at the bottom? Ah, shoot. It's fine. I've ripped these bad boys up before, kind of. And it is, in fact, pressurized. Well, let's see what I can do. Hmm. Okay. Airlock pressurizing. Oh, that whole thing is an airlock. Damn. Okay. So cargo has no air in it. I was really hoping that would work, but it didn't. Well, that actually solved my problem. Okay. Oh. Did they at least make these slightly friendlier? They kind of did. It's fine. Oh boy. All right. So the big issue with this sucker is it's very difficult to get access to you kind of uh, not access to any everything I've just got to explore for a little while I hope you like chair I think they used to be individual chairs there it is this is what I was looking for all right it's so another oh what the fudge biscuits oh okay 
Huh. I mean, they're all connected individually. There is the possibility that I could, <laughs> I could just chuck this in uh in again, but I think I think the floor is actually fairly easy to remove. Would it be more efficient to just cut a hole in the hole in the ground? A little bit. Okay. Uh actually too big to fit through some of these. Yeah, yeah. Just can't even fit. That's okay. I'll just do it slow. And yeah, we don't want to mess with this too much. But I want to empty it out. Because if I can get access to the reactor relatively quickly, uh, and pop that out, that opens up a fair bit of the ship. We should see if there's any fuses. Because that's the other thing I haven't looked at either. But, as always, with most of these ships, the fastest and best thing that I can do... ...is... oops. Waste Disposal Unit. Oh boy. Fuel in this. We do have those. Oh boy, yeah. Best thing I can do is give myself some room. Easiest way to do that is by just cutting every major structural thing and just skin the gecko. There's the weird kid in high school who, uh, we were dissecting frogs and it took the skin off, which I thought was really cool, but a lot of people were like, ew, gross. I don't think, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say I didn't care about what people thought. I think I cared somewhat, but I was also just kind of like disinterested in in being totally normal. It's kind of fun. Frankly. Uh, let's see. Okay. This should be good enough on its own. Pop it off. Like frog musculature is interesting to observe. Skin's an organ. Should be worth extra credit. Not in that class. That biology teacher did not care about bi biology. She cared very deeply about uh, teaching volleyball. Two, three, now. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Easy peasy. Alright, there's gonna be another fuse somewhere. I guess I should go find it. If I remember right, getting the bridges here is actually, like, weirdly hard. This, uh, thing is having some collision issues. Like so. Well, as long as it doesn't explode on me, I have no complaints. It's just, if it does explode on me, then this is gonna get bad. Yeah, we pretty much just ripped off the bottom by accident somehow there. Okay. Send that off. Send that off. Uh, let's see. Are there any other cut points? Yeah, we took the freaking face off this thing. No, it looks like we're good. Damn. Bioteacher is much more interested in space. Actually brought us to the National Space Symposium. It's a field trip, which is cool, but weird for a bio class. Hey. I don't, uh... I never judge adults for actually having passions. As long as the passions are, you know, healthy. And so having... Uh, let's see. Processing valuable I don't know. Credits having a healthy passion for... Space. Thermal spread? What the hell did I hit? Must have been something just on the other side.
Oh well, it's fine. Okay. Huh, yeah, this just popped right out. This is weird. But yeah, often, um, as far as I remember, a lot of teachers, especially depending on like what year level you're at, uh, they might not even have a specialty and we're just like kind of forced to go down that direction because that's what the school wanted. It was the heat sink that popped it off. Honestly, it's fine. It's my first time with a gecko. I'm more more than likely going to make a decent amount of mistakes with this. I'm just hoping I may only make uh, so many. Okay. Yeah, I'll just try and be better about pointing my my cutter in the exact opposite direction of anything that looks immediately valuable. There we go. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, if I know where I'm cutting, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. That's kind of... I guess I should take uh, rifle range advice here. So now that's good to go. Object process. Transferring credit. Just keep sending these out. Cutter is damaged, it's fine. But we do have this big fuel setup, which is a little spooky. Uh, let's see. But I think. I think we can actually get up here and actually do some stuff. I'll probably take off the sensor tower before I accidentally send that in. Because I'm assuming some of these are actually pretty expensive. Oops. There we go. Now these are meant for the furnace. Okay, send them off. What about you? You good? Yep. No, no, no. There we go. That should work. Eventually. This is... Yeah, it's suitably big. Is the whole bridge still in here? Yes. So I can't... I don't think I can remove these. Oh, wait, yes, I can. This used to be fused in. But I guess they... They changed their minds on that one. It does not seem like it wants to move, though. Oh, it's probably that thing. Yeah, you can even tell it's wiggling. Let's see if I can get in there. There's a uh, flight console of some variety that's probably hooking it on a little. It's no longer fused in, but it's hard and glitchy to, to detach. I don't think it's as hard as you think. Maybe not that one. Let's try. Oh, there it goes. It was hooked on the computer terminal. Ish. Alright. Send these down. Yeah, almost always it's a collision problem. Is it this one? I think so. There we go. Okay, so let's Take a look at this. Let's 
So I want to, I want to cut as much free as I possibly can. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. What? Huh. That's weird. Oh. Oh. What? What have I removed? I guess I removed something a little bit more important than I thought I did. I gotta be careful because, yeah, we're right next to something that looks rather explosive. Okay, go back down here. Cut this out. Is it separate? No. Let's try that again. There. No. What? Really? Oh. Because it's right on that. Uh... Now is it separate? No. How? Ugh. Ugh. It's too bright. <laughs> I'll do it later. Okay. Anything else? No. Looks like this is good. There's a food bag in there, but hard to care. <sighs> okay. Is this separate as well? Looks like it is. Burp. Processing valuable deposit. Alright. Has Credit this gone number. back to being visible? What the hell? Huh. Yeah. So there's the problem. It's not fully disconnected on this side. There. No, what? What? Oh. What? 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 You know what? Screw it. Valuable object accepted for processing. There it goes. That took some time. All for 330 kilograms of aluminum. Frankly, probably not worth it. Okay, so now that we've done that. It should be free and clear to remove and worth a shit ton. I wish there were a couple of secret ships that you could tear apart in this game. I think that would actually be really cool. Like an alien cruiser. A bottle to the furnace. Yeah, why not? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Fuel pipe, fuel pipe. Waste disposal. Well, here's another... Here's a theory. This whole thing Warning. is oxygen low. Note that oxygen costs can be reduced through good breathing practices. This whole thing is one dealio. Yeah, fuel pipes. Yeah, I'm just gonna send that off. There we go. I don't. I don't need to need to deal with this. Maybe there are, and you haven't found them yet. I'm. I'm pretty sure. If there were secret ships. People would be relentless at telling me how to unlock them. I could be wrong. I I do. Uh, oh, all right. I think I just had that go forward because it was in the way. I don't. I don't know. I sometimes miss kind of the N64 PlayStation PlayStation era where you could have like whole chunks of a game that is just secret and separate. It wasn't very common, but every once in a while there would be like, yeah, games that are just like, here's the game, but then like, here's the rest of the game and you have no idea it's there unless you find it in a guide or somebody who tells you about it. Those days were cool. 
But that also gave rise to a lot of weird, stupid bullshit, like... Mew, you can get Mew from the SSN, uh, like... Boarding area? Or, uh... Or, here's how to get Sonic in Smash Brothers Melee. I'm sure there's a lot of dialogue and audio. Uh, let's see. I would actually love to see somebody take this approach, but with like really low poly graphics. I wonder if you could actually do a lot more that way. Yeah, Luigi and Mario 64, yeah. I was reading about people uh, theorizing that and trying to trying to prove that uh, L is real 64 or some, something like that. I I never got into Mario, nor did anybody in my like immediate vicinity. So we never got into that kind of shenaniganry. Astroneer Shipbreaker, kind of? Either Astroneer or I was actually thinking like Valheim. Like, make it look like a chunky PS1 game. Um, but with modern physics and maybe effects. I, I'm mostly just thinking from a performance perspective. Uh, would it be easier to make one of these games? Uh, but make it look like it came out 20 years ago? I think that's gener generally true. Maybe not always. I think the physics is the biggest issue. Yeah, Mew one's the only playground rumor I remember. My, uh... My playground was aggressive. Oh, there's the rod. Okay. I think I might just jam all of these into the hallway. Or just pop the floor off something. Really wish there was a way to soft yeet things. Like not hard enough that it'll cause problems, but just hard enough that it'll actually go places. I guess you kind of can with your own momentum, but still. Okay, there you go. Poster one. Poster 2. Hey, a data drive. I feel like I haven't found a whole lot of data drives. This time around. That's where I was finding, like, gobs of them. Previously. Okay, let's just use this to shove everything out into open space. Eat it. Okay. There we go. Move up above. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this with the chairs. Which I'm not the keenest on. Alternatively, maybe this is easier than I think it's going to be. I see another rod on the floor. Oh. That's a piston, but yes. Okay. I think I'm going to do the chaos option here. Of just popping all of these things off. Yeah, th for this one I used to remove the floor. I'm 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 older and I'm wiser now. I'm going to remove the front. Let's see what else we have. The food pack, but I don't really care about those. I don't think I should do that. I don't think I broke it. But it certainly looked like I looked like I did. 
I look for walls you can pop out. Can you actually, like, just remove whole walls now? Because what I was thinking is... I disconnect all of this. Move all these around. Get this out here. Because, yeah, this used to not work, but I think it will now. Now that it's been updated a bunch of times and generally works better. Okay. Do that. Just want to get rid of all the door consoles. Yeah, there's wall parts that uh, encircle other things. They look like air filters, like this one. Yeah. And then also this one. Useful. But not here. Okay. Damn giant box. Get in there. Alright, cool. So is that it for this area? I think it is. There's another one here. But that brings us pretty close to the reactor. It might be worth it. But later. Okay. Now we just want to clear all these out so there's very little actually hooking it together. So have I got everything here? I think so. It's an easy check. I see like maybe a light. And obviously we have some busted thruster fuel. Some actual thruster fuel. Grab the oxygen while I'm here. Alright, let's 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 get to work. Okay, there's one more room right there. I don't think I've been in. Oh yeah, we have these computer terminals. Okay, send that off. There we go. Yeah, so a lot of these walls are removable. Ooh. Ooh. Shoot. Okay. So... I'm... Uh, let's finish this up quick. Yeah, so there's a lot of these walls that can be removed. And I don't think it cost me anything to do so. Oh, that smells... Okay. Oh, no, that does actually cost me some money. Okay. So, yeah, we're... We're just going to do this the other way. Did I get the other ladder? I think I did. I'm not entirely sure. Toss that off. Is this separate? It is. I should probably make sure it doesn't have anything valuable on it. I don't think it does. No. Perfect. Alright. So... This used to not work. But now it should. I just have to make sure I don't burn burn myself. Oh no. Oh no. I'm in the wrong spot. We want to be here. This is this is the one. Okay, wait for it to cool down. And nice part is, you can kind of see. Oh. I'm not sure what that's going to do with the walls in between. Well, we'll find out when we get there. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's keep chill. Alright, don't burn. Okay, got that one. Yeah, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to stop in the middle of this ship. Much to my chagrin, but there is there is dinner upstairs and it smells heavenly. I just want to see if I can pop this front off. Because if I can do so, that makes my life, like, really easy. But I might have to, uh... I might have to destroy a little bit of wall. As well. Okay, it's perfect. We got it. Airlock console. Oh, yeah, that's... Not something I want to just have lying loose. Okay, you. Huh. Don't know what happened there. But yeah, we're just going to pull this forward. Caution. Out of tethers. That's going to take a while. Let's behold our handiwork and throw the food pack in there. Okay. So, maybe not quite as effective as I was hoping it would be. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, we're... we're golden. As long as that goes in there. Yeah, check this out. So because I did what I did, we now have a easy, easy entry point into the latter half of this gecko. Obviously, this is going to take some uh, doing to actually get places. Apparently, we had like a couple of loose computer terminals. Oh no, those are all already in. All right, cool. Oh, and there's, there's the errant ladder that I was missing. Perfect. Alright, I think we're good. So next time, we'll cut the rest of this gecko in half. Or, well, I guess finish shelling the back half of the gecko. Empty its guts out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And have an easy time of it. I might do that one off stream just to finish it up so we can start fresh. Uh, and I don't have to worry about YouTube content, but we'll see. For now, though, this is fun. But I gotta go get some pulled pork. It smells too good to avoid.